Hi, this is Seth David with Nerd Enterprises Incorporated, bringing you another webcast. This one is called Reaching Your Goals with Microsoft Excel, the Goal Seek Command. And the Goal Seek Command is a powerful command. I have not experienced a whole lot of people who really know it. And it's a way that you can calculate things that uh, you can do without having to rewrite formulas and change things around. In other words, you may already have a formula written but you may want to get at the result a little different way. Instead of changing the components of the formula, you may want to just tell Excel, hey, here's what I want the formula's result to be. I need to know what I have to change X to in order to get that result. In other words, I'm seeking a goal. I want to set my result to be a certain goal number, and I want to do that by changing the product price, let's say. But first, I'm going to get into a simple example where we do this with uh, the pricing of a product in terms of sales tax. And then we'll get into something a little more complicated. Without further ado, let me uh, bring up my screen here for you. Share the desktop. Second, you should see my Excel sheet. Perhaps two seconds. And here I have a simple formula. You take a base selling price, $85.99, apply it to the sales tax. I get a total, this is a simple sum. But let's say I want to be unconventional with my pricing, and I want to just have even numbers where sales tax is already included. What I can do is I can use my goal C command. If I go to the data tab in Excel 2007, go all the way over to the right to where it says what if analysis, I click on that option, I choose my goal seek option, which is the second choice. And then it brings up the goal seek dialog. And again, the first thing that it wants to know is what are we changing, what are we changing it to, and what do we have to change in order to get it there? Best way I can describe this. So I've already selected what I want to change. I want to change the total price to be exactly $100, and I want to do that by changing the base selling price. Click OK, and Excel gets a result. And you might be looking at this saying, well, that's great, but it doesn't really help me in my business. So now let's go right over to a scenario where it would help you in your business. Let's say I've got a list of products here and I'm trying to determine how to price them. And I know that here are, my, here are the quantities I'm going to sell, let's say. And it's almost irrelevant, but I put that in there for effect so you can see the total numbers and things. The really important thing is I know what my unit costs are, my unit costs, and I know what I've got my selling prices set at right now. Everything else from here is calculated. And I want to focus on the gross profit percentage. Let's say that I want this gross profit percentage to be 25%. And let's say I know I can't change my costs. My vendors are charging me whatever they're charging me. So in order to accomplish that objective, I need to change the selling price. Well, right now the selling price is a number that I enter and the gross profit percentage is calculated from there. So and let's say, I think I said 25%. Let's say I want my gross profit percent to be 45%. Well, I can play around again and increase this and see what it takes to get me there. And just by playing around the numbers, I can get there. But if you're like me and you're running a business, you want the information quickly. You don't want to have to sit there playing around with numbers. So here we're going to use the goal C command to get the gross profit percentage equal to 45% based on changing the unit selling price. So I'm going to come over here for product one to the gross profit percentage. Again, I go to data, what if analysis, and then goal seek. I choose Goal Seek, and now I want to change this to be exactly 0.45. Remember, you can't think of this in terms of uh, percentages, so I have to figure out the decimal. So I want it to be 0.45, which is exactly 45%, and I want, to I want to change the unit selling price in order to achieve that goal. So my goal is to get my gross profit to be 45%, and the way I'm going to get there is by changing the unit selling price. I click OK. Now you're going to have some rounding issues because these are formulas that are being calculated based on different things. You know, the gross profit percentage, for example, which is what we're calculating, is a function of the profit divided by the selling price. So we're going to have some rounding errors. You're not necessarily going to get a perfect result, but that's about as close as you're going to get. The other way to do this, of course, would be to rewrite the formulas. But you may not be as expert in Excel as others, or you may just not want to spend the time. You may want to have a simple table laid out just like this in order to, to do it, and the goal C command will be a powerful way for you to get that. 
let's say you want to set the total dollar profit. Let's say you know that for whatever reason product one takes a lot of time to put in and let's just break this down to just one of them. Let's say I want my total dollar profit on each one of these to be exactly $30. I want to at least double my money. So again, I can go, that scenario makes it easy because obviously I would just charge $60. So let's use another, let's say I want my total dollar profit to always be $45. I can run my goal seek. Again, I, now I'm setting the total profit for dollars equal to 45 by changing the selling price. Click OK. And now it finds me an exact result because you don't have the rounding issues that you have with the gross profit percentage. So you could go into a scenario like this one and rewrite your formulas so I can say I want this to be 45% and it gets me my selling price based on that. Or you can use the goal seek command. Now I want to quickly show you something else that we've done. Because if you like this, if you like what you're seeing here, then you're going to love our margin calculator. You can search on the web and I can guarantee you you're not going to find any margin calculator that's anything like this. What this does is it gives you five different scenarios and everything is hyperlink driven. So what you're looking at here is the basic table where I can see I can change whatever's in orange I can change. So I can change my quantity, my cost per unit, my selling price. So let's say I'm going to sell 100 of these and I'm going to have a cost per unit of 50 cents and I want to sell them at a dollar a piece. Well, what I can do now is say, all right, that's great, but I don't want a gross profit margin of 50%. I want to make it more attractive to my customers. I want to drop that down to 45. Well, I can click here on scenario five because these markers let me know what scenarios allow me to change the thing that's below it. So I can go here to scenario five and say, let's make that 45%. And it shows me that then my selling unit price has to be 91 cents. And I can reset this by clicking these buttons here. I can go into any of these scenarios by clicking any of these hyperlinks and changing and change this around. I designed this for a client of ours and he loves it. He keeps calling me saying, how many of these have you sold yet? And I keep telling him none because I haven't promoted it. So here I am promoting it. This is a way you can do it without even using the goal C command. But of course I can use the goal C command here just the same. Click this equal to 45% by changing the selling unit price. And I can click this button on the first scenario that says reset all and it resets every single scenario back to whatever is, it'll all be set equal to whatever's in the first one. Once I enter numbers in the first scenario, if I change this, for example, to $10 and $20, now I can go to scenario two, and you'll see it drops that base information in so that I can set my basic criteria up here and then go into other scenarios and change it and say, all right, let's, let's say I can lower the cost per unit. Let's see what impact that has. And then the other thing I've added in here, and we're enhancing this periodically, is if I go here, I can click on this products link, and I can actually start populating the products so that when I come back here, I can choose from the drop-down. So you can literally populate this thing with your own product list and calculate this. This guy that I made this for sells promotional products. So he loves this because he can list, he gets an order. He, somebody wants to buy you know, 10 different things, and you want to buy 50 each, and he can sit there and lay it all out and figure out what his total profits are going to be. And then he can adjust his pricing to make it more attractive or to make sure that he makes enough profit on it based on how much time he's going to put in. So this is a powerful tool. It's available in our learning center. You just go to our website at nerdenterprises.com. Should have had this set up ahead of time. Go to nerdenterprises.com and click on the orange learning center button. And come over here downloads and productivity tools and where is it profit margin scenario calculator and mind you this comes with a full length a 30 minute uh, tutorial which you can watch here before you even buy the thing but there's also a link in the product itself that explains to you how the whole thing works and it, it walks you through exactly how to use it Email me. My email is seth at nerdenterprises.com. If you have any questions, feel free to send an email. I'll be more than happy to take your questions and get you an answer as soon as humanly possible. I want to thank you for joining us on this webcast. Check our QuickBooks and Excel blogs for more great webcasts. And don't forget to check our upcoming events because we have live webinars from time to time. And you definitely want to check those out. They're a great value. I look forward to seeing you on the